Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I um, did a swap on your paper pantry. Um, we were supposed to use make like a travel notebook or a junk journal using um, a box, for, you know, a grocery box or whatever, a food box. So I used the adorable little Curious George, um, what you call them, fruit little gummies. And <clears throat> I tell all about stuff after this, well, you know, for those of you that don't want to watch the process, I'm going to start putting those at the end. So I've done that with this video, and um, are there are points when I thought I was filming, but the camera had decided to stop without telling me. Some stuff for papers to make a couple of notebooks for inside. I just gotta watch this because it was popping up. So I'm gonna do some doilies. I found this down in my stash. It's just some kind of pretty distressed papers um, for color, maybe for the covers. And then I went through my vintage area of books and whatnot. And I found a book. It's on the, the North Pole, but then it has a dictionary of D's inside. So I pulled that out. I got this. My sister's um, cleaning out her house. And unfortunately, she threw stuff away. But that's her writing. Here, this is her handwriting. Perfect. But unfortunately, she threw a bunch of really old office supplies away before I got to her. So, got some. But I'm really bummed. Because she had like, a box of. Smead, which is the company my husband worked for, um, really hard chipboard alphabet, you know, they're the metal tabbed alphabet 
like divider things from like I don't even know how old they were. They were really old. Because her husband was older and is a. Uh, what do they call him? She's a CPA and he was a. Uh, did physics and stuff. So, you know, he had a lot of. I think it was physics. Some kind of mathematic thing or something. So they had, they had some of these. That's kind of cool. So I thought these would be fun to cut down for pages. See, it's kind of popping up. I think because it's so short and narrow, really. But the glue hold it. This, I wouldn't. I would probably copy. But it's so adorable. So cute. But I already copied some other paper, so I might hold off on that and see how it looks. And then I just found this in my stash for the pages. So Scrubby and I were watching, I think our channel too at least, or Katie, you know, public television, had on this thing, uh, Magic of the 50s mu uh, pop music, and we just started watching it Saturday, I think. So then I recorded it because we kind of wanted to watch our little mystery show, and um, we're like, jeez, these people for, because we're trying to, I'm trying to sit there and calculate, like, well, how old would they be, and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, dang, they look really good for, you know, because they'd be in their 80s. You know, if it was 1950s, they would have had to been, I mean, according to the album covers, they'd be in their 20s. So, you know, you do the math. You know I'm bad at math. So that'd be, okay, say 1950s. We'll say 1952. No, we'll just say 1950. So that's 70, 68 years ago. So they'd be like 88 or at least 85, you know. And we're just like, geez, they look good. Well, come to find out after we got done and we were going on and on. And then finally they had um, Debbie Reynolds on. We're like, okay, well, it's at least, it's got to be at least three years old or whatever because that's when she passed away. Well, I look it up. It's from like nine, uh, 2002. But he did at one point, he saw the audience and he goes, well, those clothes look like they're from the 90s, you know, like the mid or late 90s. And I concurred because of the, just the styles they were. Okay, now where am I? Oh, yeah, I need my cutter. So, jokes was on us. Or joke was on us. Okay, so here's what I did. I had a little epiphany one night. Where's all that stuff? Oh, where'd I put it? My little epiphany that I gotta show ya. Huh. Well, that's weird. Anyways. Okay, so my epiphany was... Ugh. You know when you, um... I've got all those Joan Anglin Walsh books, and I've got, like, say like this Mahiawatha book and little picture books. So my idea was to use this Dollar Tree I think they call it a sketch pad um, I already pulled it all apart but it's just this kind of almost like newsprint paper but a little heavier and I thought because I don't like printing it out on white paper because then you lose kind of that vintage look and you can print it out on cream paper but I thought print it out on this paper because it's um, thinner than like a, like a, you know, copy paper is probably thinner than this. But this just has some texture and tooth. So I did it and I love the results. Especially when, I just like um, reduced some of these. Like this is a, this is as big as that um, Hiawatha book, not bigger. If I knew where I put that stuff, I'd show you. 
Um, and it's in here somewhere. I, I bet you're like imagining this like hoarder house room. And it's close, but I do have more than paths. I have like a huge open area, so it's not that bad yet. Downstairs is another issue because we did the storage room thing. All right, so here's that. These did not, these were a bigger, a bigger book. So I had the same, re, you know, percentage reduce number as these. And I probably should have changed it a little bit. But I figured it'll give some color to the other side of the page. You know, because I'm going to sew them in the middle or whatever. And this is a cute little book. Uh, like a little kid's um, reader. Or primer. So I'm really liking how this paper is turning out. So that's just a FYI. Alright, so so here's the size I'm doing. I think it's eight by four and three quarters. Oh, seven, I'm gonna write down. Cause I the rough edge too. So I'll probably be leaving that. But we'll see what the width is and it's not going to be wide enough. Well, it's seven. That's not bad. So I just need to do four and five eighths. I just bury myself. Oh, I like Discover. I better cut the top off. Okay. I do like these little edges. Hopefully my recipient will. Mm-hmm. This is 11, so that's okay. Maybe it's kind of a kitty book. Well, why not? 
Maybe I'll leave that up. Just for type. And oops, one more. See how these are? They're so that you can pop them in. Kind of like the Happy Planner. So this is probably 11 also. Seven. weird. I think I'll do some with the holes and some with the holes. Just to zhuzh it up a little bit. Yeah, nothing new in this house. I don't think. We're still finishing the storage room. And all that mess. Boy, when they put that sheet, you know when they do sheetrock and tape it, that powder is like a fine mess. And it gets everywhere. I've got it all up here and everywhere. Uh, one of this stuff. On everything. So oh, we'll be dusting for probably 20 years, you'll find it. This up, well, <laughs> yeah, I'll speed this up. You'll, you'll know when you see it. So, is anybody watching that marvelous Mrs. Meisel? It's so funny. It's a little raunchy, racy. Not for the faint of heart. That was the one I was complaining they used the F-bomb. And people just didn't use it in those days. Like, they just didn't. I mean, that would be, I mean, especially, especially in public or, you know, I mean, I just can't imagine why they think people did. To me, that's like a continuity issue when you're watching a movie or a, for me it is at least. When you're watching a movie or show or whatever, there goes your willing suspension of disbelief because they just burst the bubble of reality. So you kind of get jumped out of the movie the you know, not theater. You kind of get lost in your thoughts when stuff like that happens in a movie or in a show because you're thinking, like, oh no, that wouldn't really happen. And I mean, it's not even like wouldn't happen. It's like nobody talked like that back in those days. So they kind of, I kind, I lose my, you know, belief in the 
show or whatever. Just a titch. Not enough to quit watching it though. Because it is cute. But I gotta find out if she wrote it. Because a woman wrote the show. Alright, where am I now? Seven. Three, four. And there's a. I don't know if you saw Big Sick. Okay, the girl that was in Big Sick, I found a movie at Dollar Tree. What was that one called? For a dollar. Oops, wrong one. And it was so good. It was just really good. It was about a guy who created a girl, like the perfect girlfriend. It was so good. And... and Right towards the end, I was like, God, the writing in here is really good, you know, and I, so I kind of wanted to pay attention to who wrote the screenplay, oops, and it was the girl that was in the movie, and she was a really good actress. Okay, so Big Sick. So then, um, long story short, my niece got back with her boyfriend after they kind of broke up for a while and the movie they went to was the big sick and it was kind of like their story sorta so sorry and I think that's why they watched it or whatever so they could kind of go you know what is this what we want to do so they're still back together or they're back together all right so anyways here we are this cute little girl I'm gonna put my glasses back on what's her name Zoe Kazan, okay, so the other movie I got at Dollar Tree was, wow, oh, she was Olive Kittredge, too. Oh, I only watched one of those because I didn't really like it. Well, see the F word, what that is. Uh, wait, no, filmography. Oh, Ruby Sparks. Directed. See, Zoe Kazan. So, um, oh, so what I was getting at was, so the Mrs. Meisel one, I'm wondering if it's the same deal where the actress, because she's so good in it. Okay, marvelous. Don't make fun of my... Ooh, when is season two coming out? We just finished it last night. <clears throat> Alright. Cast. Rachel Bruce. Whatever that means. So then where do we find... I go back. And go to... Overview? No. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Well, it wasn't. What's her name again? Oh, yeah. Rachel Bruss. I don't think she was the one who wrote it, though. So. Go write her. I know I can do this faster, and I know I can... Say it. Oh, it's Amy Sherman Palladino. So whoever she is. But this little Rachel, man, she's good. What else has she been in? And what's his name? Is hilarious. Oh, she was in House of Cards. We keep watching that one though. It's getting too ugh. when he pushed her off the train thing. I'm like, that's it. I'm done. I haven't seen anything of these. Oh, I didn't watch. I didn't like Olive Kittredge either. I think I watched one. It's just like, nope, nope. This guy Tony Shalhoub is so funny in this show. 
couple of them. Okay. So that was a fun break. Back to this. No, where was I? Seven and three quarters. There. This is why I don't get anything done. But um, that August Sparks was really, like I was kind of like, what is this? But it's really good. Where am I? And you really don't see what's going ha happening or what's going to, you know what I mean? It's like, it's really, really a good show or movie, I should say. And for a dollar, I got it for a dollar. And that's actually one I would watch again. I watch it with the friends, so I'll probably watch it with the scrubmeister and see how. And at what point will he start pulling his hair off? That'll be fun. Actually, I think he'll like it. I think he doesn't like these young people and their goofiness. But he did like the big sick, and that was so cute. And that was actually written by the comedian, the lead guy. You know, the guy, the actor, he wrote that uh, screenplay. And that's kind of sometimes when it's a better movie because they're so invested, not only invested in it, but they really understand the characters. You know, when they have either director or actor who wrote the screenplay, be in it or direct it. All right, now where am I? I gotta make my body post. So, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna use this. These. Maybe I'll use these. For the folios. Folio, folio. Yeah, I did want to use that. Didn't I use that? Oh, duh. Yeah, right there. This is old My Mind's Eye. I think they're gone now. Stella Rose is on my hoard vault. I think I'm going to use this. But I think I'm going to use some of this too. These are thinner though. That's not like thin. Maybe I'll decorate with that stuff. Okay, these two. I really like the clouds, but I have it there. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's cute. Perfect. That's cute, but this is way cute. All right, so. Four and five. Actually, I'll do the seven and three quarters. See, I almost, almost screwed that up. And I want these. For rainy day fun. So what is it? Four and five eighths, right? I like that quite contrary thing. Does it go it? No, it doesn't. Because, see, I'm talking. I, sh I can't talk and craft at the same time at all. In fact, my one friend, we haven't for a while because she's going through a lot. Um, but I'm going to leave Stella Rose, too. But she and I would craft. Well, she would craft. Actually, nobody would craft because she talks. I love her dearly, but she can talk an arm and a leg off with no problem at all. So I can't craft when somebody's talking to me, you know, because it's like I can't, I can't do, you know, the patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Never could do it. When, I, when aerobics was out where you had to, like, Flail your hands and jump your feet up and, you know, turn around. I could not do it because I can't 
But yet at the same time, I could play the drums and I was really good. Like I could play a drum set, which makes no sense at all because your feet are doing something different than your, you know. But so I can't have people talking to me. If I had, I used to do books on, you see, now look at it, I stopped. I used to do books on tape down in my art layer, and I'd miss half. Did I do that right? I'd miss half the book because I'd start crafting, and then I'd be like, "Oh shoot!" And then I'd have to try to. Oh no! See, look at now. What did I do? Dang it! What did I do? What's wrong? I'd miss half the stupid book, and then I'd have to try to figure out where it left off. So I'm not gonna say her name. Would come and, oh, let's craft. I'm like, oh, okay. So she, I'd be just kind of like moving stuff around on my desk to make it look like I was crafting because I just couldn't do it. You know, I can't, I can't listen and, and she wouldn't be doing anything because she'd be talking and walking around and coming over here and, oh, did you see this? And look what I got here and, but you know what the best part is? She'd at least accomplish something. I mean, neither of us would be crafting at all. But she'd somehow, within that, like, and I'd kind of, you know, paid that much attention where it's like, how did she get anything done? You know, talking so much and walking around and, and moving this over here and then putting it there. So I don't know how it worked, but I know I didn't get anything done. Actually, she didn't get too much done. Okay, so now, I do want to do the corners... But this thing really hurts my hand, so where's my thing? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna like do this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my thingy. Me too after I read your name. <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna play that, so I just deleted it. No sense having that there because it's just negative. Negative energy. All right. Now I gotta make my little books. I do want to round the corners though. Remember when I said that? Okay, so where's my covers? Plus this, plus the amber folder. All right, so I'll do. Where should I start? This. This will be a really good lap break because I'll get this all mixed up. And on a. this one. What's the dog's name? I think the dog's name is Flip. It's like, what? Flip? What happened to Rex? Okay. A rover. And every dog in books, Rex or rover. What did I do? One of these? Two of these. Okay. Not two, three. But that's okay. We're not going to be anal. Okay, and then my favorite little girlfriend. These might be getting too fast. 
See, this is what I hate now. To have to cut all that off. Ugh. I don't know why people had to come up with this idea. Who came up with this idea? It's nothing but... Unless I leave... Oh, I got a better idea. I got a better idea. This is called the lazy man's way. Or the lazy crafter's way. Instead of cutting all that off, I'm going to leave it raggedy. And then I'm going to do a cute decorative edge on here. Yes, I just thought of it. <laughs> Good idea. Alright, oh I got a bunch of these. Maybe I'll do one more and then that's it. And then one paper. So how are these? Still staple. Yeah. Because, um, say this. Yeah, I think that would be good. Ooh, it'd be cute. All right. Oh, yeah, I didn't do a good intro on this because I forgot to turn the camera on. So, this is that Curious George gummy bear um, or fruit snack box from Dollar Tree that I've wanted to use. And this is a swap for your paper pantry. And my partner is Cynthia Soto. Cynthia usually does like really fancy, more kind of shabby, but that's, um, where did I put that? the swap was to use, uh, I, I brought, I came up with a swap because I wanted to use this thing. Anyways, um, so this will hopefully be like for grandkids or if somebody's having a baby in her life. Okay, so I gotta staple these. I'm gonna raggedy edge the now. I'm gonna do the raggedy edge now, not raggedy edge the now. So I've got these little scissors. This one, um, this one is my favorite. I've had that. I think since the day I started um, buying stuff for cards and that. So I'm going to do that one. i get rid of these because I'll go, what's this for? What did I do? Why did I forget it? Now the trick to this that I find, for me, is see that, see how it goes like here? I try to focus on that, being at the edge. See how it's lining up with the paper there? See? It's pretty straight. Not bad. So I look to where this top is. I look, I watch that so more than when I'm cutting. Just to make sure. Oop, that went off a little bit. See, as soon as that mouth starts flapping, I get mixed up. Um, anyways, no, that's good. That's fine. There's that one. Then the raggedy edges of paper will make sense and look cute. At least I think so. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I'm not being, it's not, it is a lazy crafter thing. But I'll tell you, if I tried to slice those pages off, They'd end up about this wide because I just I'd have to keep going, trying to make it nice. So I don't even attempt it anymore. Starting today.
Oops, I was going to do other ones. Darn it. Well, I, oh, I kind of do like that though. Maybe I'll do a scallopy one on this one. Ouch. Of course I'm going the wrong way. Why don't somebody tell me? It's a wave instead of a scale. So now we'll do it the right way. That's kind of cute though. That's cute. I think I'm gonna um, staple these though. Not so. Because it would not sew very well. Alright. Then I'm gonna try that. Alright, so I will be back. I'm gonna corner chomp. wasn't doing anything I I was but it was so I kind of did it, worked ahead a little bit let's say um, but I will try to catch you up so I'm just kind of I'm making little tabs for the the book and this is fabric I found on wish.com which is a crazy place I don't get it I think it's really like this is fine but I bought a blouse and a pair of sandals and they were just so cheap cheaply made cheap fabric cheap materials just hideous like I pretty much threw them away after I got my money back because it's like they weren't that inexpensive I think the sandals were $18 and the blouse was 30 so I don't know why everybody's all over your wish, but anywho, this was okay, and I got those wood pieces that were cool, and I got a bracelet that was cool, but otherwise, I it's too hit and miss for me. I mean, that's two out of five that were bad. So, I've got my book all put together, and I'll just make one more of these so you can see how I did it. Excuse me. So I'm making a birthday reminder book actually. Kind of just um, mainly because this is not really my um, partner's style, but I just had to use this little box because it's so cute. So I thought I'll just make it kind of a whimsical thing for her, and then I thought, hmm, birthday reminder. So I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this. But I'm just um, first pulling off the edge so we get a rag. Oh, of course, it's not going to work now. Maybe we'll try this way. Or I was going the wrong way. You do have to find the right weave. There's a weft and a. I think it's a weave and a weft. And then I'm going to go about an inch and pull that. Okay, so now you got that. 
And then I'm taking my red line tape. Like you could sew these on, but I didn't think of it until after I put everything together, of course. So then I just put down red line tape. Straighter than that, of course. I swear to God, it's like you get the camera going when it's actually going and then everything all, you know what, breaks loose there. Not straight, that's for sure. Like I gotta cut that one down. Or not straight, but even I mean maybe back here. If you can hear my stomach, I'm sorry, but it's early morning and it just is waking up. Okay, so I think I'm going to snip this one down. There. So they stick out a little bit, like, um, so that you can see where they are. Alright, and then, that's that. Put that away. Away. This started. Now to decorate it. <clears throat> I just pulled out all my pile of scraps. I keep a little scrap bin. Well, it's not a little huge box of any little scraps and things that I've punched out that I kind of want to use again or can use. Birthday-ish, that's kind of cute. See, that's a loud one. Definitely use these. These I've already used for the books, so I'm just going to try to go somewhere a little different with it. Because my partner, Cynthia Soto, she likes really florally shabby. So I'm going to try to like do a little bit of that too. That's enough.
Okay, yesterday I had a really bad day. Uh, long story short, I was expecting a very important thing to happen. And I found out insurance-wise, medical-wise, whatever. But I found out, oh, it's just so ridiculous. People just really need to do their job. And I mean, pay attention, write things down, but nobody does. So anyways, something that I was supposed to have two months ago. I started this whole process last June, not this past June, June of 2017. And it's just one problem after the other of people dropping the ball, forgetting to do this or forgetting to tell this. So yesterday I'm thinking I'm going to get this thing like within a couple weeks, let's say. You know, it's got to go through insurance, blah, blah, blah. I found out yesterday, oh, well, no, you have to have a PT evaluation. I'm like, what? Which will take another month because you can't get into PT where I have to go very soon. It's like, you know, that takes about a month just to get in there. <clears throat> so I bet I'm not going to get this thing until October, late October, I can guarantee it. But I hung up the phone, and I cannot tell you the last time I cried. Other than like at a movie or whatever. I almost burst out crying. I was so... I just had had it. It's just crazy, this whole process. It's like, it, that's the last thing I need. It's not all, all that I needed, you know. And it was like, come on. So I had just happened to be in a movie and for some reason when I'm editing an iMovie um, I don't know if it's because I click on a song to put on the movie or what but some, for once in a blue moon iTunes will pop open without me realizing it and a song will start playing which usually it's like the first couple times I'm like where is that coming from so I'd close all my windows on my um, go, you know, the Explorer and whatever, and it's like, it's still coming. It's like, is it in the house somewhere? So then I go look around, it's like, well, no, I don't even have a radio. And I come back, I'm like, okay, this is spooky. But then I close my movie window, and there would be iTunes. I'm like, well, how did that get opened? So that happened a couple times, and I finally figured out it's iTunes. You know, I don't know. Why? So yesterday, I get off the phone and I'm like just bummed, feeling sorry for myself, wishing that this would all go away, or at least get done. <clears throat> and all of a sudden it was, and this song has a long, kind of quiet intro that you, it's very, very quiet. And all of a sudden this beautiful voice started singing. And it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was the Pi's Lullaby from Life of Pi. If you haven't heard it, that is going to be my go-to song for when I feel bad. You know, when I feel like, oh, no, see right now. When I feel like I'm so overwhelmed with whatever, that is going to be the song that I'm going to go and I'm going to listen to it. Oh, it's just beautiful. So, enough about poor little me. But go listen to it. It's just P-I apostrophe S lullaby. And it's on YouTube. And it's this woman, you know, uh, from India. Because all the music is Indian, obviously. But it is the most beautiful. And it was, I was like, it was a gift from God, I swear. I swear, because... This has just been so much for me, and I, it's like I can't even get anything done because I'm just so overwhelmed with worry and trying to figure things out and all these stupid roadblocks that I absolutely don't need. I've got enough roadblocks in my life. So, enough of that. It was perfect. It was perfect. So then last night before bed, 
I came out here in my office and I clicked on that button and listened to the lullaby. That's going to be my morning and evening ritual. Because it was given to me for a reason. I, I honestly, truly believe that. And the thing about all this, I can sit and talk to people about it or tell them or like even Scrubby, he's like the most, you know, wonderful person. But men like to try to figure things out and I don't need anybody to figure it out. I just need somebody to be quiet and listen and, you know, let me vent. But um, even friends, like I've got a friend that she'll let me vent, but then she's got to top the story. And I don't mean to speak badly about her. I love her dearly, but I don't need you to top the story. This is, I don't know who your cousin's sister's boyfriend is. You know what I mean? It's that kind of... So it's just like, you know, you kind of really need somebody just to keep your mouth shut. I got to learn how to do that myself because I'm kind of a fixer, you know? So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to work really hard at that. Instead of trying to fix everything, I'm going to let people vent and then I'm going to say, what do you want me to do about... No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just going to let them go. They need to get it out of their system. You know what I mean? I know you all know. So, sorry if I brought you down. Probably not because I don't even want to go into all the details of what's going on. It's just, I just don't need to. It's like, that's all I think about is when is this going to work for me, you know? And it's kind of important stuff. It's, it's not just, oh, I need a new poster or something, you know. It's like really desperate situation right now. It has been since June 2017. So, not good. But we're moving forward. Alright, so I got all these weird things now. I'm cut this off. But she's gonna hate it. Alright, so I forgot about this one. Cute. I wonder if I should shorten these. That one's pretty good. See, hers are just such little tiny babies. Little teeny, I'm worried to go that far. Because I wonder if it'll be different. Because she has thinner yarn. Do I dare? I'll try it. Oh, cute. Oh, for cute! Oh my gosh, is that cute? Look at how cute! How f oh, that is really cute. No, okay. See, look at. Cute. See, that one worked out. I'll do just a little bit on here. I gotta do smaller hoops or hangers too. There, yeah, that's cuter. Oh my gosh. This one's good. I think I'll leave that. This one's too long. I better put little um, dips, it, dips, it, dots, drops. That's another thing, the stress. I've been worrying and stressing out for so long that I can barely get anything done, I swear. I can't even figure out what I'm trying to say half the time. I think he needs to, he needed another. These are so easy, too. I wish Babsy had a, you know what we gotta do? We gotta chant Babsy, 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 get a YouTube channel. She has got incredible ideas. As does everybody. I mean, we all do. I mean, everybody should 
Look at. Oh, they're adorable. Cute, cute, cute. Remember making little, um, or uh, maybe not. When we were little, we'd make um, straw pe or yarn people like this. Like then you would get another piece here, and you'd put yarn in between for their arms. All right, so.